here and some of you may already know me as a freestyle footballer, world champion in fact. <laughs> but I am not here today for that, no, 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 no. I've put the football down because today I want to learn from the property legend Samuel Leeds. And we are here at Ribsford Castle. This is Samuel Leeds' current and ongoing castle development, the famous one. So because it's got so much history, this building, it's actually a grade two star listed, which means you need like permission from the local council and the heritage team to do almost anything. Like changing door handles can be a nightmare. Um, changing window frames, you have to get the same ones made. So it becomes really expensive. So 800,000 pounds at auction for this massive building and he's spending about three million pounds on it. One thing that they like and they'll yeah. be like, yeah, you can have it. Yeah. And that difference is millions of pounds. Yeah. Did you manage to get rid of the bats? No, it's still there. They're still there. A meeting was held with officers. It was not arranged for pre-application advice regarding any future proposals. The owners were advised that any request to discuss detailed proposals in advance of a planning application being submitted would need to be done by way of an application for pre-application advice. No more than generic policy advice could or would be given outside that process. So, overall it went very well. We've currently got planning permission for just four houses and ten apartments. Mm -hmm. And basically, they've said in principle that we can have, we've got planning for 12 apartments and about houses. So it's like, it's going to increase the gross development value by a lot. I have checked with our development manager who has confirmed that no applications for permission in principle have been received for dwellings on the site. It feels like I'm an absolute fraud. <laughs> Why don't you lying? Why? 